Dirty Work Wednesday's on the air at 473-104.5. Hi, who's this? Hi, uh, this is Renee. Okay, and now before we get started, guess where she's calling us from? Where? Go ahead, Renee. Tell everybody where you are right now. Well, I'm uh, I'm calling you from the Sheridan, New Orleans, in the lovely French Quarter. Okay, oh, so wow. now are we there on vacation, or do you actually live there? Uh, neither, actually. I'm uh, I'm here for a work conference. Oh man, why don't we ever get work conferences in New yeah. Orleans? That would be sweet. Okay, so we have some dirty work to do. What can we do for you? Well, I was uh, hoping you guys could find out why my babysitter decided to spend the night at my house last night while my husband was there. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so okay, so your husband was home and your babysitter mm-hmm. was there as well. All night. Okay, what is your husband's name? It's Gary. Okay, and what is your babysitter's name? Chelsea. Okay. How old is your babysitter? Um, I think she's 23 or 24. Oh boy. Okay, and she was there the whole night? Yeah. Okay. Uh we uh we got that ring doorbell you know what i mean that uh that ring thingy yeah the video uh, doorbell that, yes uh we did that this last christmas and uh so i get notifications on my phone if there's anybody at the front door or you know the back door by the garage sneaking in and uh we have a couple cameras and last night i got a notification and i look and i see chelsea's car pull up and i'm like uh okay i guess Gary is going out bowling or something, which is totally fine because, you know, he does that sometimes during the week. But then the next morning, I get another notification and I look and I see Chelsea walking out the back door, getting into her car and leaving. So she obviously was there the entire night. Okay. So either she stayed the entire night while your husband was there, or maybe he Mm -hmm. went out and stayed out all night and didn't come back till the next day. Yeah. But if that was the case, I would have seen him leave. My thing would have went off and I would have seen him pulling out of the driveway or, you know, at least seen him coming home. Okay, so we need to figure out why your babysitter came over, stayed the night, yep. all, and all while your husband was there. Exactly. Okay. And uh, I've, I've already called him twice and he hasn't answered. And that's when I thought of calling you guys. Okay, well, if he didn't answer for you, I don't know if he's going to answer for us. But, I mean, we can at least try. Um, can you give me a physical description of your babysitter? Like, is she a blonde or a brunette? Oh, she's blonde. Okay, and she have short hair, long hair? Uh, it's, uh, it's about shoulder length. Okay, and then what about her car? Like, what kind of car does she have? It's a white Toyota. Okay. Um, I think, I think a Camry? I don't know. Okay, well, well, that should be enough to go on if Gary answers. Okay, stand by, because I definitely need you to be on the phone when, when we come back. Hello. Yeah, can I speak to Gary, please? This is Gary. Hey, man, uh, this is uh, Dave Guetta. I'm on the Neighborhood Watch Committee for our street, and I'm a friend of Renee's. I don't know if we've ever met before. Oh, yeah. What can I do for you? Um, So Renee texted a few of us to keep an eye on the house. I guess she was going to be gone, and she wanted you you to know that. I'm I'm not sure if you hired someone to watch your house or not, but some girl showed up last night and let herself in. She has... Blonde hair, she drives a white Toyota. Yeah, that's the babysitter. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I was just checking to make sure you guys knew about it, that's all. Because I spotted her, like, on my evening walk last night. And then this morning, as I was leaving for work, I saw that her car was still there. So, I wasn't... Yeah, dude, it's, it's the babysitter, okay? okay? Thanks for checking. Oh, my God, you're so lucky you have a sitter that'll stay overnight. I could never afford that. You you must work third shift or something, I guess? I'm in, I'm in a hurry, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for calling. Oh, all right. Uh, I have a question. Why in the f***ing hell did our babysitter spend the night at our house? Oh, Why did our babysitter spend the night at our house? Who is this? You know f***ing damn well who this is, and I'd like you to answer my f***ing question. What the? Renee? So Chelsea spent the night in our home? Yeah, I guess she uh, she got locked out. She tried calling her roommate, but she couldn't get a hold of her. So I told her she could stay here until tomorrow when she had to work. Okay, so her roommate locked her out. She got locked out, and when she tried calling her roommate, she didn't have a place to go. She would stay here until she went back to work. At any time, did it occur to you to ask me if she could stay the night? Uh, not really, no. I thought you liked her. I do like her. 
I think she's great with our daughter, but I don't want her staying the night in our home when I'm not there. Okay, well, next time I'll just tell her to stay in a ditch somewhere, maybe a bus station. How about that? Uh, I, I have a question. Why did she come over the house in the first place? I mean, it doesn't seem like Gary even went out or anything. So, like, what predicated her coming over? Do you have an answer for that? Hmm? Do I have an answer for what? What the hell is this? And what is this? The neighborhood watch spying on me now? Uh, no, honey. That's the people from Z104. I had them call you because when I called you twice, you didn't answer. The people from what? From Z104, the radio station. Hi, Gary. Hi. <laughs> okay, I got things to do. When you want to talk, call me back by yourself. All right. Well, I honestly, I'm sorry. That's probably my fault, Rainy. The only reason I even jumped in is because it sounded like you were just about to let him off the hook. And I was like, there's one question we still don't have an answer to. So No, it's all right. At least he answered. So do you believe what he said, like about her roommate locking her out? Yeah, but he still should have called me to let me know what was going on. Yeah. Oh, hold, hold on a second. You, you seriously believed him? Because I sure as hell didn't. I mean, why did she come over in the first place? If he didn't end up going out, then why did she come over? Well, maybe he was g- g- going to go out. And then maybe she told him about the whole lockout thing and he was trying to help her and he just didn't end up going out. Maybe he felt so bad. He was like, well, screw it. I'll just stay no, home. No, don't be naive. Are you serious right now? Renee, you can believe whatever you want, but I would call him back immediately before he can think of another way to lie. Okay. Do, do you want to do the whole ask the audience thing? Because we can do that. We can text. You can text us at 757-104. You can call us at 473-1045. But I'm going to remind you of a couple of things. Number one. He never denied that she spent the night. He never said, oh, she wasn't here, and then changed the story. Uh-huh. And number two, did that sound like the voice of a guy who got busted cheating? Did he sound nervous or panicky? Because he sure didn't sound that way to me.